fa 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 fi 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 fo 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 unique new york unique new york oh hi folks today we're going to talk about two macros that i use when i play mythic plus and one weak aura regarding visual toy appearances and stuff like that uh, today we're talking about at cursor macros and these are used with the targeting spells in the game uh, you can see here a targeting spell like sigil of flame says hey you need to put me somewhere before i'm actually going to cast myself so that's two button presses additionally it's kind of wonky when you're trying to fire it up mid rotation like super hasted really really fast um and just about every class probably not every spec but every class has something um that can benefit from the use of one of these macros and again see here we're just uh it's asking me to target instead of doing all that nonsense it's still going to go where your mouse cursor is but with a single button press you can just throw it down those guys are silenced that guy's feared these guys are dead easy 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 vengeance demon are the number one class for you know benefit gain from this also you know demon leap or whatever it's called same thing can be used for warrior leap you know hunter traps shaman totems all that kind of stuff very easy to make except typing slash m is very difficult uh you can see here we have all these spells in my dh specific macro book uh as with every macro that i use you want to start with hashtag show tool tip all one word no spaces second line slash cast bracket at cursor and bracket sigil of misery or sigil of flame or elysian decree or infernal strike is the name of the jump um and that will allow you to, to execute this stuff. And occasionally, if you're casting Hallow once every four minutes, I could see being okay with that kind of stuff. But even then, I, I've done this with Hallow as well. It's just a lot faster, a lot more beneficial. If you're a clicker, though, and you're clicking these abilities, uh, take a gander at what happens. Here's my sigil of silence. If I click that with the at cursor, it's just going to go to where my cursor is, like through the button. So... If you're a player that does click one i would recommend for rotational spells try not to click those try to get those bound to where your hand can get to them uh, but you might have other spells that you do click you know you can make an at player macro in that case uh, i would generally wouldn't recommend this but if you're playing vengeance demon hunter and you are clicking or you're playing death knight and you are clicking it's it's rough to go to your action bar pick a spell and then drag it back up here and have that be fluid with the rest of your gameplay especially if you're tanking you know i would try to get past that uh, either way super duper helpful uh, just about every class has one there's a whole list i'll even put that in the description as well uh, second macro i use is a skull targeting macro uh, you can modify this to be any other marker in the game and i will just copy paste this in the description as well so you can just lift it for yourself but the number value in here, 8, lets us utilize the actual skull marker. I mark that guy. I mark, well, I can't mark that guy. I mark this guy. I mark the NPC. If you change this to, you know, 7, it's going to be a red X. If you change it to 6, it's going to be the blue, blue box, you know, so you can run through all of these. I would recommend at least having a skull button. Uh, generally, maybe a second marker button as well i don't run that but uh any more than that you're probably doing yourself a disservice or taking too many keys you can also use an add-on like opi to uh pull up a radial menu that helps, helps you drop that kind of stuff not a big fan of that myself uh, either way would highly recommend put that on a mouse button probably the last thing we're going to talk about today is a weak aura that a friend of mine kala a shaman you've seen in several of our videos uh, linked to us the other day it's a toy button check this out you just mouse over it right it's i have 92 toys i can use right now that will give me a visual change or, or appearance right and when you mouse over and you click it boom it activated my beehive boom it activated my frost essence these are kind of weak examples stone binding uh, there's a pennant you know every time you mouse over this and you don't click it it will change to a different toy so don't lose the one you want to use there's the uh the haunted locket that's a good one 
Additionally, when you mouse over those, occasionally it's going to give you several different options. Like here I can right mouse button my world shrinker. I can control left button a mode of light. And it has a couple other options. You can see the gammon's braid is on cooldown. Uh, for some reason, it doesn't always give you that option. But, you know, hey, the button itself is very, very cool. Especially if you're like me and you use a, a side piece for a couple transforms. It's nice to kind of get that out of the way. And it shows some variety. Otherwise, I believe the toy box is where toys go to die. You can see this. I don't use any of this crap. Anyway, that's all I wanted to talk about this time. I'll have a commentary video coming out as well today. Thanks a lot for, for watching, everybody. Uh, hope to see you in the next one. Take care.